Unit 2 Polynomials, Lesson 2, Discover Exponent Laws. The first law that we're going to look at is called the Product Law. It says, when multiplying powers with the same base, add exponents together. So if the bases are the same, whatever the exponent numbers are, you're going to add them together in order to simplify. So let's do some examples together. 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 4. So we have the same base. So our base is 3. So 3, and then we add our exponents, 2 plus 4. So simplified, that would be 3 to the power of 6. Our next one, we've got three exponents, um, but they all have the same base. So we simply write down the base and then add the exponents. So that becomes 2 plus 3 plus 1. That is 4 to the power of 6. Our next example, we have negative 2 to the power of 2 times negative 2 to the power of 3. So again, we have the same base. So we add our exponents. So that becomes negative 2 in brackets. 2 plus 3, just like that. So that your final answer is negative 2 in bracket to the power of 5. Our next one, we've got fractions. So a fraction is 1 over 4. So we keep our base the same, 1 over 4 in brackets, and then 3 plus 2. So that's going to be 1 over 4 to the power of 5. The quotient rule is the rule that you use when you are dividing exponents. So again, you must have the same base, but in, in this case, what we will do is subtract the exponents. Uh, so we've got 8 over 6 divided by 8 over 4. So this is going to be 8 to the power of 6. We're subtracting 6 take away 4. 8 to the power of 2 is your answer. Um, next one, we've got three powers. So we write down our base, which is 3. And then we simply subtract 8 take away 4, take away 2. So 8 take away 4 is 4. 4 take away 2 is 2. So your answer is 3 to the power of 2. And then we carry on with the fractions. So we've got negative 2 over 3. Our exponents are 6 and 3. So we're going to subtract that. So that leaves us with negative 2 over 3. 6 take away 3 is 3. All right, our final portion on this page is if you have an exponent to an exponent, so a power to a power, so in that case, what you're going to do is multiply the exponents together. So an example would be right here. So we've got 5 to the power of 2, which is our power. And so we've got a power to a power, so two exponents. So what you're going to do there is simply multiply them. So you write down your base. I like to write it down so that it's two steps. So that becomes 2 times 3. So my final answer is 5 to the power of 6. Our next one, we've got negative 4 to the power of 3, all to the power of 2. So again, we're going to write a negative 4. We're going to multiply our exponents together. So this becomes negative 4, and then 3 times 2 is 6. Final one, we've got our base, which is 1 to the power, sorry, 1 over 3. Our exponent is 2, and then there's another exponent, so we're going to multiply that. So our final answer is 1 over 3 to the power of 4.